These are made in Italy, so you already know that they're awesome because Italians are awesome. Easy go. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Shoe I Live. My name is Joe. Today's going to be a quick video. We're going to be taking a look at a product that was sent to me. This is not a sponsored video. I'm not getting paid for this. But MetGuard did send me out a couple of magazines to test and see if my audience would like something like this. These are for 1911s. What we're going to be shooting them out of today is the Rock Island Armory TAC Ultra FS 45 ACP. A very bad boy if I do say so myself. They sent me one seven round flush magazine and one eight round base plate magazine. The eight round is the one that actually comes with the Rock Island Armory. Um, the seven round flush doesn't, and this one actually is kind of cumbersome to use in this particular 1911 because it's a flush magazine and there's the Megwell on there, but we're still gonna test it out anyways. And I also did bring with me the Rock Island Armory 8 round magazine that's marked on the bottom just so that I can show you that the gun does run fine and that way we know that if there are any issues, which I seriously doubt, it would be because of the Metgar magazines, but let's run some rounds through these and I bet you they're going to work really great. Alright, so we got them out of the packages. Your 7 round steel magazine also has a steel follower. Uh, the 8 round steel magazine has a polymer follower and the uh, polymer cap on it. These are made in Italy so you already know that they're awesome because Italians are awesome. Okay, let's shoot. The first magazine I'm going to run through it, of course, is the Rock Island Armory magazine. Like I said, it's marked with the blue tape on the bottom just to show you that the gun is running fine. And then we will shoot the Mech R7 round and then the Mech R8 round. All right, Metgar seven round. Seven rounds, nice and clean, clean dropout. Metgar eight round. Eight rounds, nice and clean, clean dropout. Nice, good magazines. I'm going to reload them. We'll come back, we'll shoot some more. All right, so this time we got just the Mechgar 7 and the Mechgar 8. Uh, none of this is accuracy related. These ones I'm just going to pull off as fast as I can just to make sure that they run through the magazine just fine. I'll probably miss most of these shots. And that's what I was saying about the 7 round in this particular handgun with that Magwell. When I pop it in there, my hand actually hits the Magwell, but this actually seats in there really well. So. Drop out, eight round Metgar. Smooth run, nice drop out. I like them, I'm liking them. So I've done a bunch of shooting off camera, I just keep running rounds through these. So what I'll do one last time, we'll just run the seven round mag, drop it, run the eight round mag through there. So far, no glitches, everything's run great. The, you know, these are really good magazines at a really affordable price. One more time, let's make sure they run. Clean, looks good. As you can see, these did get kind of a little bit dirty. I was running them and just dropping them. Uh, none of the impact made any difference. These are good magazines. Thanks, Metgar, for sending these out. I appreciate it. I'm going to put a lot more rounds for these. If for some reason anything ever comes up with these, I'll let you guys know. But from this point right now, these are good mags. You guys need to go to Metgar's website. 
to check them out, see if they have magazines for the particular handgun that you run. You can get to their website by going to my website, shootridelive.com. The link to that is in the description. I really appreciate everybody stopping by and hanging out with Shoot Ride Live today. My name is Joe. I'm out.